Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, The Silver Fox. And we're going to take a look at what has literally just dropped, which is the new trailer for House of the Dragon. Uh, we'll go through that. I'll obviously have to play it with the sound right down because of copyright. Uh, but we'll go through, I'll discuss as I'm going through it, and then we will have a look at the giant freaking robot article that uh, I've sort of literally put it into my face five minutes ago. And I thought, right, straight away, bang, we need to get this up, get this out there and get it shared. So uh, without further ado, here comes the trailer. So obviously HBO, one of those standing alone. Ah, uh, eggs and Smith. The big boys themselves were here. That is very reminiscent. That throne looks a lot different. I think she's a very striking looking actress. Uh, that's the younger version. When you see the older version as well. Visually, it's very representative of Game of Thrones, isn't it? That actress who's playing Alison Hightower, I saw the other day. I'll tell you about her in a minute. Oh, they do have a look about them, don't they? And that's the same character, but older now. Oh. Oh, it's just great, isn't it? It's just fantastic. Wow. Well, what do you think? I think visually that is stunning. It's really nailed it in terms of the look and feel of Game of Thrones. Uh, Matt Smith's starting to get a bit older looking, isn't it? Mind you, he hasn't played the Doctor in... God, it must be at least 12 years. So it's not surprising. 11 years. 11 years. So, uh, yeah, so he is getting on a bit now. Um, he's lost the boyish looks, but he's maturing into an excellent actor. Um, visually, I think it's got it. I think it's absolutely perfectly there visually. Um, if the music is anything to go by, it's going to have that upbeat. It's going to go boom, boom, boom. It's going to be epic music. Um, little things. The costumes are fantastic. The, the hair, the styles, it's very reminiscent. I mean, these are Targaryens. You know, you only have to think of, uh, you know, Amelia, Amelia Fox, I was going to say there, Amelia Clark. Uh, that look she had, especially in the early ones with the hair, everything about them is Targaryen. Um, I'm certainly very impressed with... The more I see about this, the more impressed I get. So I am so looking forward to it. Um, I will say that I was going to mention that girl uh, who plays Alison Hightower. Um, I watched her in something. If you haven't seen it yet, go and see it. I'm not going to say any more about it. Just go and see Slow Horses. It's one of the best things I've seen in a long time. Very, very good. Uh, anyway, th this is, all came because of a, uh, a giant freaking robot thing. So I, without further ado, I'll put myself down again into the corner and we will have a look at the article. Um, and see what they say about it. Um, so here's the giant freaking robot article. See Matt Smith faced down a monster in new House of the Dragon trailer. Well, we just have, so it's good. Uh, it's been almost exactly three long years since HBO's groundbreaking fantasy series Game of Thrones concluded. Awfully, badly, horribly. We won't talk about that. And it seems high time that we finally get a spin-off. Fortunately, HBO is more than willing to go back to Westeros in pursuit of the ever more demanding streaming market. A teaser trailer for the upcoming House of the Dragon series has just been released, primarily featuring, featuring Matt Smith and Emma Darcy as members of the melanin-impaired Targaryen royal family. If you've been missing the glowing uh, intrigue, shadowy grand imagery and fire-breathing dragons of Game of Thrones, this will certainly be exactly what you have been looking for check it out and then we've just said about checking out that well we just literally have 
Um, I mean, the big set pieces and the big look and that is very Grand Guignol. Um, it's it, it's the sort of thing you expect from uh, some big lavish sort of film studio uh, rather than a television show. So it's you know it's doing very very well. The trailer begins with a white-haired figure standing on a stone parapet. Well, actually standing by one, but we'll let that pass, uh, which is very Game of Thrones. Then it swiftly cuts to a dragon flying towards the towers of the Red Keep, which we last saw in ruins at the end of the first series. Uh, in House of the Dragon, Matt Smith is reportedly playing Prince Daemon Targaryen, a warrior and dragon rider several steps away from the Iron Throne, which does not bode well for anyone. He also is an expert in creepy smirks, as you can see here. House of the Dragon is set 200 years before the events of Game of Thrones during the apex of Targaryen era. Dragons are plentiful and the ancestors of the Stark, Baratheon and other great houses are seen in the foreboding throne room bending the knee before King Viserys I Targaryen, Paddy Considine, uh, who is, in terms of characterisation, he's the elder brother of Matt Smith's. Um, which is there. Nice picture. It's up to you. That is just so Game of Thrones. I don't know if they've rebuilt the sets or pulled the same sets back. Uh, we also see Emma Darcy being proclaimed the heir to the Iron Throne. It swiftly becomes clear that while Targaryen power is unquestioned, naming a woman as her heir apparent to the Seven Kingdoms is unprecedented and it's an unpopular move. And I do think, like I said in, the, in my piece there, she's got just such a stunning, icy look. It's a very good look. Um, and it's almost a medieval, the way that they've dressed them. Um, of course, no time frame is ever mentioned, and it's, uh, but it does have that sort of, think, 13th century queen, you know, maybe a little early, maybe think about Eleanor of Aquitaine, something like that. Uh, Henry II's wife, if you were wondering. Uh, and find uh, the mother of King John and King Richard that way um, and finally we get to see what all what we all came for Matt Smith facing off against a dragon and there we have the picture of a fiery dragon on the back of Matt Smith's head House of Dragons comes at a delicate time for HBO the competition among streaming services has become fierce in recent years with the once dominant Netflix beginning to lose ground to HBO Max Amazon Prime Video and Disney Plus with others like Paramount Plus and Peacock sniffing around the edges. On that, Netflix had it easy for so long because they had very little competition. So anything that was out there, it all fell into Netflix's lap. But then they've all opened up their own ones. So anything that was Disney has gone to Disney, anything that's Paramount has gone to Paramount, and so on. And so Netflix are only left with the dross that nobody wants or their own stuff. The trouble with their own stuff is it's all woke garbage. Um, I foresee Netflix being gone within two years, unless something happens. And I think the only thing that's going to save Netflix is the fact that there's too much competition. And so someone like Peacock or Paramount Plus will form a new company in a partnership with Netflix. Um, it will make Netflix itself smaller because it's going to be a 50-50 partnership or some such. Uh, but I think it's the only way it's going to survive because it can't rely on its own woke garbage content. Meanwhile, HBO doing this, well, I think they've secured their future for five, six, seven years minimum if they don't cock it up. Uh, anyway, Game of Thrones was a paradigm-shifting series for HBO and others have taken no note of the sudden mainstream popularity of high fantasy. Netflix has The Witcher, first series good, second series meh, not so good. Amazon Prime is about to unleash The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power, which is definitely going to suck. And HBO is now going back to the George R. R. Martin well, which I will be honest, I said originally I was like, man, is it going to work, is it going to work? But as time gone on, they've released more and more. My enthusiasm has climbed the heights of unimaginable excitement. And I am so looking forward to this. House of the Dragons does have a fantastic cast. Matt Smith and Emma Darcy, who you've seen in that, 
uh, Reese Ephens, very famous actor. Olivia Cook, who was the, the girl I was mentioning that was in uh, Slow Horses. Uh, Sonoya Mizunu and Steve Tussaud, uh, among many others. The series was recently announced to premiere its 10th episode first season on August the 21st. And it's a long, long way. I mean, three months, man, three months. And we will just have to wait and see whether it recaptures that old Game of Thrones blood magic. I think it will. I think it's going to be massive. I think it is going to throw shade at all the competition. Um, the only thing I think that will match up in terms of my excitement is, premier, uh, is Stranger Things. The premiere of that is coming soon. But that'll be well out of the way by the time drag, uh, we get to the Dragon era. Um, it will certainly beat. It will certainly beat um, the Rings of Power. It's going to demolish the Rings of Power. Um, Amazon don't know what they're going to do with their billion-dollar loss. Effectively, HBO will wing this. Anyway, I'll come up and finish the video. Well, a hundred days to go. God, it's a long time. Fortunately, there's things to do in between it. I'm going on Saturday to see uh, Doctor Strange. Then we've got uh, Stranger Things Series 4. Looking forward to that. Obi-Wan is starting to look good, isn't it? So, uh, yeah, probably that. And, of course, Jurassic Park Dominion comes out soon. Uh, that's another thing I'm uh, looking forward to. Not that keen on seeing uh, Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power. I think that's going to be a failure, so I won't talk about that. Uh, and Ms. Marvel. Oh, God help us, that's going to suck it. But House of the Dragon, that's the keystone. That's the one I'm looking forward to. It's the one you're looking forward to as well. You wouldn't be watching this video if you weren't. But we'll round it there. If you like what you hear, hear and see on the channel, please subscribe if you haven't already. Ring the bell for notifications of future output. Leave a like, leave a comment. And until next time, stay safe, stay well, and goodbye.